Hi, this is Stacy from Bryant's Automotive in Lebanon, Oregon. Finally get some sun out here. Anyways, working on a 5.7 liter Hemi that um, I'm just making this video because I've been married to this truck for a year. I done a, it, it got brought in from, it was bought for, at, the dealership bought it at an auction and it was brought in and it had a cylinder number six lifter issue it ate the lobe so it didn't have no exhaust operation in cylinder number six put a melling cam in it from o'reilly's and a set of uh lifters from o'reilly's which are uh trying to remember the name of the brand um oh anyways don't buy any aftermarket parts for this 5.7 hemi unless it's from the dodge dealer you're going to put it back together and it's going to have noise. It's going to tick worse than it did with the camshaft. The aftermarket is terrible at making these DOD lifters. Um, anyways, I'm just basically making this video saying I put three sets of three different milling camshafts, which there's nothing wrong with those milling camshafts, and three sets of lifters from O'Reilly's. And the brand of lifters I've never even heard of before. They're called Encore, E-N-C-O-R-E. -E. I put three sets of those lifters in here, all three sets, all four cylinders tick. If I send power to the solenoids that used to rest in here, and that big plug right there that I'm pointing at, I would run power to all those solenoids and ground when it was at idle, and it would deactivate those four cylinders at idle, and the noise would go completely away. So I pulled it back apart because we're going, I, I told the customer we either got to put factory parts in it or do a delete on it. And he chose to do a delete on it and we're using AMS racing kit. Their kit is very nice. It came with these plugs which I've already installed because I that little white cap right there. Those go where the sensors were and you just leave those unplugged. You got to leave, you got to leave that wiring harness there because you got to have this camshaft actuator right there. But anyways, you just leave them unplugged, and then with their kit, comes with a complete, this is the company, right here, AMS Racing. Um, it comes with a complete gasket set, complete head bolt set, a Diablo Predator programmer to delete the DOD system, front timey cover gasket and seal. Got the camshaft sitting right here. This is the camshaft out of that kit. It's straight from Mopar. Let's see if I can find the end of it here. Straight from Mopar. And then two sets of lifters for non DOD. I think the kit costs, let me see here. I think it was like a little over a thousand bucks. Uh, it's a great kit. Um, I know for a hundred percent sure that it's going to fix it because when I took it apart, I checked the last clearance between the intake of uh, cylinder number uh, four and six and one and seven, and they're all over twenty-five thousandths. I think they're twenty-six thousandths, but I could stick a twenty-six thousandths feeler gauge in there. And it was loose, so if I lift it up on the feeler gauge any little bit, it would actually start compressing the lifter. So th these lifters are just junk. Encore lifters suck. Whoever makes Encore lifters should be ashamed of yourself. Anyone who installs Encore lifters expect to have a problem immediately. Um, three sets in a row, three of the exact same problems. Um, it, it, those lifters are just junk. Nobody should use them. All right, this is Stacy from Bryant's Automotive. I will make you another video when this thing is up and running and does not make any noise. All right, you guys have a great day.